Hello YouTube and welcome once again to the Turbo Series. Today we are going to be beating, to the best of our abilities, the Gate of the Voids, Void Vortex. We're going to see how far we can get in here. Last time we made it about halfway through Valiant before struggling against certain waves, but now that we've buffed our treasure train, got ourselves a little bit more strength and had time to improve our monster a nitty bitty bit, hopefully we'll get more progress. As well, we're not going to be bozos and waste our ticks in the Aspen Dungeon, and we're going to go in and do that too, as this is ready to go. Also, we'll be starting at death 50 this time, which means we don't have to waste healing on Eloise, because her natural healing ain't so great in Aspen Dungeon. So folks, let's give this a spin. Things that we've been doing this week, by the way, are pretty interesting. We've gone ahead and adjusted a few things in my spare time. One thing I've been working on is a PvP lineup where I've gone and built an Annabelle to level 100 to shut down opposing abilities. Her active skill will go off, which is good, and when she dies, she'll also shut down opponents. So hopefully that'll work. We're going to start today with the Vortex, see what that team can do, and hopefully we'll get very, very far. But before we do, I'm just going to go double check the Realms Gate. We're on 2.30 here. Let's just clear this wave. We're on Void Corruption 24, and we've been having a very, very easy time of it killing these opponents. We've even got this dude right here. Battle that, kill the puppet, victory, and we're out of here. One more stage to go ahead and do. That's going to be this one right here. And we are fighting, okay, Asmodel, give him a slap. We got King Barton over here. Give him a slap. And we'll watch the boss fight out as well. The only reason I am skipping most of these is we are only Void Corruption 24. And considering how strong we are, it's not that difficult. So let's go ahead and slap this one real good. We're going to start things off at three times speed. And hopefully we get a ton of damage out here. You can already see that Texas active still doing really nice. Every time they hit Eloise, her block's going to come out, which gives her a counter attack. You can see now she's absolutely straining them up. The active skill from this guy looks really cool. Uh, too bad he's going to be dead in probably a mere few seconds. Yeah, almost a billion damage there from Eloise. Not that bad. Perfect. All right, that's beaten. We get out of here. We restart the wave. We're going to select Sword Flash again as our hero. And let's have a look. Where's the mine? It's down here. Okay, let's work our way down towards the mine and go put a hero in. And this is the reason we've gone ahead and built ourselves a lineup using all 10 stars. Those 10 stars can be used to make us progress in the mines, so the more varied selection we have, the better. And I've just bumped us up to Void Corruption 25, as that will, of course, get us more resources from fighting these enemies. Right, we got ourselves a mine! Who wants forest heroes? Good thing we got ourselves a heart watcher. Slap her in, get all the rewards. Then that's why we built her to 10 star. Very nice. Okay, what I'm going to do now is path plan, and we're going to set up a smash. So we're going to smash... And that's the team with Heart Watcher. Well, it had a Heart Watcher anyway. So we just put in like Ignis and then call it a day. Put Ignis there. Yeah, looks good. Smashing! Right, what we need to go ahead and do now is the Void Vortex. This will be relatively fine. We've got some skip battles to do against these guys. Uh, we got no protection for Shadow on some of these waves, so that might be a bit of a problem. But we'll see how far we can get through this. We're going to use our preset lineup here with Annabelle. Hopefully that's going to get us quite far. And can we skip the battle on these? Yes, we can. Good. So even though we don't have Shadow protection, the fact that we're beating this is a very, very good sign. That means we can probably beat Defire today if we're lucky. So, uh, fingers crossed on that one, boys. So, we'll just skip through the ones we've already beaten. I think Valiant Area 3 was where we got to last time. Again, getting a good idea of us beating this without Shutter Protection is really nice. That time we had it too. But yeah, I'm not even having to reset some of these planets. Yeah, this is, this is super promising. Is it partly to do with the fact we have a giant killer hero and a big treasure train? Of course. What is Eloise even on? Let's have a look at her attack stat, just to give you guys an idea of how, um, let's say, unmatched this is compared to yours. She's got 2.27 million attack, and then if you factor in she's got Giant Killer, that's basically 4.5 million attack. All right, let's go ahead and fight Gulf 207 then. We're on Valiant Area 4 already, and oh, our first defeat. Ah, double Ada. Yeah, that makes sense. Ada is horrid. I'll try again. Still a defeat. Yeah, okay. Ada is reducing our healing massively, so we'll reset this, and then we should beat it first time. No, defeat it again. Okay, let's try some others. This one has Shadow Protection. Okay, Shadow Protection, we definitely win. Ozil 201, do I need Shadow Protection here? Defeat again. So yeah, all these ones without Shadow Protection. Okay, we're getting defeated. So it's about time we whipped out the protection on some of these waves. So let's see if we can get it. Light. Forest. Dark. Ah, oh, it's taking two minutes. Oh, no, stop it. Oh, mate, this is going to be really bad. But we still win. Okay, this is going to be awkward if it's going to keep requiring that many resets. Okay, we got Shadow there first time. 
Nice. But look, instant win when we have Shadow Protection. Yeah, that's... That's... I'm scared. For Signets, I'm really scared. This might just be the situation we're in now. But we definitely beat all that. That's fine. We're cleared. Valiant Area 4. So we're halfway through Valiant... Now it's time to deal with Valiant Area 3. Have we beaten a lot of these? We have. Right, I'm going to try something. At the moment, Eloise is wearing Golden Crown on that preset lineup. So what I'm going to do, we're going to switch it up a bit. We are going to go and get ourselves the Melodic Strings, which is currently on ticks. And we're going to move that. Because you might find that Melodic Strings is just the play. And that could work nice. So let's go in. Let's see what Melodic Strings Eloise does here. Okay, survival's not an issue. Look at Eloise there. Her health bar is absolutely fine. So we definitely should be running Melodic Strings on the Eloise, I think. So that's definitely way, 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 way stronger. Because, yeah, that Garuda's about to die. Russell's going to pop off, but it's not going to matter. We still get that counterattack off from Eloise. It's going to shred a few of our heroes, but that's fine. Tix is dead, but that marks the Drake, which means we just need to kill the Drake. That'll pop, causing Tix to then deal damage to the rest of the opposing team. So, yeah, this is actually really, really fine. They're going to kill Ignis as well, which will make our Eloise control immune, which is also really, really good. Okay, so there's the poke coming through. Heartwatch is going to be dead here. So we need to kill that Drake before Eloise uh, gets defense down. Yeah, that's easy. We're fine. So we should go ahead and kill this Russell here. He might go and kill our carry. We don't really mind about that too much, though. Uh, we've just got to go ahead and deal with him and the remaining carry here. And we should be fine. Uh, that energy steal mark's a little annoying, but hopefully Eloise can heal through this. We've got our own carry back as well. This might just be a double carry problem. We just need to not fight double carries. Because Melodic Strings' damage potential is actually really nice here. But we still might win. Okay, come on. You got this. Yeah. Yeah, Eloise's counterattack actually should have this dealt with real nice. Yep, there you go. And we just got that one carry left to deal with. So, yeah, just kill her and we're fine. There you go. She's going to die. End the round. Oh, no. The other carry came back. Actually, go home. Screw that, man. That was ridiculous. We should be fine. Oh my goodness me, they're both back and they both dodged. Yo, this is just carries being absolutely poop. Uh, we should have them here now though, surely. There you go. So yeah, Melodic Strings, all the difference there. Absolutely fantastic. So I think we can just go in with Melodic Strings and not worry. Yeah, 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 yeah. That's actually a huge game changer. So we're actually clearing some of these waves really nicely. This one here is problematic as heck. There's a lot of bad heroes, so we just refresh that. That's a lot more winnable. So yeah, we'll go with that. Defeat still. We'll try one more time. Uh, oh man, why are you playing poopy? Uh, could be the Sherlock. Yeah, refresh. Ah, still a Sherlock. Don't like that. Uh, oh my goodness me. Are these just all the same wave? Okay, that's oh, double Garuda. Not even risking. Ah, and Sherlock's back. Okay, we're going to buy a few of these. I'm going to go up to 30 here. Refresh again. That's... Wait, was that the wave we were fighting earlier? No, it's a Delacium in this one. Defeat still? Ugh. It's probably the Amon Ra and the Ada getting us. That's the wave we were fighting initially. Ah, this is Ada with Sherlock. All these waves are actually dreadful. I think every single wave has Sherlock in it in some way, shape, or form. Okay, no, that doesn't look so bad. Uh, we might need Shadow Protection for this one. Yeah. Oh, no, there you go. Just took a few attempts. And this last one, what are we looking at here? Ah, similar kind of thing. There's an Aider in here. Yeah, I don't like that. I'm refreshing. Okay, that looks way, way, way more winnable. Let's have a look. There's a Heart Watcher in here. There's a Mim. We should be able to kill this. Let's see. Good active skill there. Good damage pressure already. A lot of that focused on Garuda as well, which is a really good sign. You want to get Garuda dead early because she will heal. And healing's not good, because that's going to basically make that Garuda annoying to kill. She is taking a lot of hits here. Uh, Heart Watcher, though, is also taking a ton of hits, which I don't like. Also, when our heroes die, that's going to heal Garuda as well. So we need her killed very quickly here. Okay, Eloise's counterattacks aren't focusing the Garuda, so that's a bit of an issue. Uh, okay, Garuda is coming down, though, quite nicely. We put a mark on her there. She goes, gets energy stolen. So we don't have to worry about her active skill. I think Eloise will have this Garuda if she just goes and hits her. Uh, no, she's gone for the Aspen, which means I still have to deal with Garuda. That's good damage, though, from the active from Eloise. Counterattacks are now focusing pretty nicely. The healing's coming out, and it looks like we can tank the hits here, which means, there you go, we win. Bit of an uphill struggle, but that wasn't so bad. Okay, Valiant Area 2 now. Uh, this should be fine. I just need to make sure we've got some attacks here. So I'm going to buy 37 to take us up to 40. 
And I will reset anything that's a bit awkward. Do we have any shadow protection on any of these waves? Ah, are you joking? We don't? Double carry, double Garuda, yuck. Man, they really know how to build annoying waves. This has no carries in, so I wonder if that's going to be an issue. Let's find out. The Taras might have too high damage pressure. Also, we could get sealed by the Taras, which could be an issue. So we need Ignis to die here. Then again, if Ignis gets sealed, then dies, I'm not sure we get the control immunity buff. Uh, but then again, Eloise's counterattack seems absolutely fine here. We're destroying these guys. Wow. This is actually going really well. The only healing they have really is the Sherlock and the Ignis, and they just heal like a few heroes. And it's pretty slow healing on Ignis as well, so yeah, I think we're fine. Yeah, that tower is non-existent. Rinsed him! Clean. Very clean. Okay, so Melodic Strings is actually putting in real good work here still. That's what I like to see. Skip this. Yeah, boy! Melodic Strings! What a great switch up. We don't need Shadow Protection when we have Melodic Strings. Oh, even against Double Carry, Double Garuda? Let's go! Eloise, you absolute beef. She's just beef. She's pure... Pure steak. Filet mignon. Absolute god tier hero. She's just pure muscle. Look at that. Shredding it through. What's shadow protection? Bro, she actually is a transcendence hero. Did you know that? She's gaining all the benefits from transcendence protection. She's secretly coded in the game as a transcendence hero. Believe it or not. By the way, I am gaslighting you. That is completely a lie. <laughs> <laughs> she is a shadow hero. <laughs> yeah, don't go around being like, um, MK said Eloise is a transcendence hero. She's as much a transcendence hero as Salamence is a legendary. Might as well be, but technically isn't, you know. She's the Garchomp of idol heroes. And that is a reference for cultured individuals. Also, did you say the code is Mojito 6? They literally put in cocktail nimes as, like, codes to get rewards in the game? When's Espresso Martini 7 or Porn Stars 14? Where's free beers for MK17? That's the code I want. Get you a core and 777 gems? Yeah. Sex on the Beach 69? Don't do that, guys. Unless you're like a mouthful of sand. So all you need to do is go to Cool Events and type in the code. So it's Mojito 6. Wow, it actually worked. Honestly, we are going to try Sex on the Beach 69 next month. See if they get that... Uh, that's spicy, spicy free content for us. Either way, we got ourselves Elon 107, Golf 207, Zane 112. This is just the names of these planets. It's completely arbitrary. It doesn't matter. The real point is, can Melodic Strings kill this without needing to go and put in Shadow Protection? That is the real science you guys want to know. At the moment, with our Beefcake Eloise, the answer looks like yes. Yes, it does. Just got to get a decent counterattack here and we'll take down this Sherlock. Just got to hit him. There you go. And now, oof, look at that. Garuda falls over. Like my nan trying to get down the stairs. And that's carry down. 2.7 billion damage. Really, really nice. And I think that means we can breeze through this. Triple carry. That'll be a test. That'll be a real test. All the resurrections we'll be getting. Madness, can we just beat this? Oh, mate, if, if triple carry falls, Defire's going to be a joke. Wow. Shadow protection is actually not needed. Turns out, Golden Crown, bad artifact. Just should have ran Melodic Strings the whole time. Wasted a few of those signets early on. That's fine, though. We're learning things. We're learning. Beefcake train, beefcake hero, melodic strings, beefcake damage. Should have this one dead now. Oh, look at that. Energy steal on Garuda again. Carrie is honestly... If she wasn't such a degenerate hero, she'd be my favorite. But because she's so game-breakingly strong, I kind of feel bad. You know what I mean? Like, I don't want to like the heroes that are just strong. I like to support the underdog. You get me? Like, Carrie is good. She doesn't need an ego. Don't tell her she's good. Support the heroes that, you know, aren't getting that kind of representation. Vulcan's the same, you know? Transcendence Vulcan gets way too much limelight. Same with Aspen as well. It's very English of me, what, supporting the underdogs? Yes, thank you. Man, she is taking a flipping time. At least there's not multiple carries, so we don't have to worry about any resurrection shenanigans. But she is dodging everything. Like, I get it, I get it. She's hanging in there for dear life. We're getting, like, sealed up, dazzled up, all nonsense from the planet, but it doesn't matter. And there you go, dead. Look at that, some extra stellar shards too. Fantastic. That is Valiant Aerial 1. Cleared, killed, dealt with, bish bash bosh, call me Trevor. And 
make me a sandwich. Got ourselves now Defia Area 6. Now, this is a double carry, double Garuda Wave with an Aider and a Sherlock. This is as disgusting as they come. If we beat this just fine, I'm pretty sure we're breezing through Defia because we have no Shadow Protection. Here we go. What do I want on my sandwich? Peanut butter jelly every time. Don't let me down, guys. Best kind of sandwich. I might be British, but I can enjoy American cuisine. Oh, look at that. Both Garudas are going to fall over at the same time. Absolutely fantastic. You know what, guys? Scratch that. I don't want peanut butter jelly. Garuda's dead. Give me some chicken. Beautiful. And is this Sherlock going to die? Oh, Carrie came back. Dreadful. Absolutely horrendous. Has anyone had a peanut butter chicken sandwich? Anyone been that brave? Isn't that just chicken satai? Isn't that what satai chicken is? It's just peanut butter and chicken. Put a bit of sriracha sauce on there as well. Because peanut butter can be sweet or savory. Because, like, who's having sugar in their peanut butter? Like, ugh. Wow! Both carries are back. This is ridiculous. And you can tell we've got no protection because pretty much the whole team is CC'd. And there we go. We finally beat the carries. 3.6 billion damage that time from Eloise. But that does mean this is going to be an absolute joke. If we can beat that wave just fine with melodic strings, I'm guessing we press skip battle four times and Defire Area 6 is ran away, disappeared, cleared out like my dad when he went for the milk. Okay, we died to this. That makes sense. It's it's triple carry. Let me just try again. If we can beat triple carry Ada Garuda, like this is absolutely disgusting. Oh, we can beat it? Ha! Get wrecked. Okay, and this is again triple carry. A little squishier though. It's leaned on Russell and we have shadow protection. So we should have this beat. There you go. Absolutely cleared. Destroyed. Gonzo's. To fire area six. So we got ourselves one hour, 45 minutes to do the rest of this thing. I'm expecting we can smash up. And this has shadow protection as well. So, yeah, I think this is going to be a good clear. Here we go. Eloise, smash him. Showing how it's done. Great clear there. 3.6 billion damage once again from Eloise. And she's showing you just how easy Defire is. And with that last victory, that is Defire Area 5 cleared. Is Defire Area 4 going to be just as easy? I don't think that's a fair test. That looks too easy. What have we got here? Okay. Oh, no, there's shadow protection. Again, too easy. Give me a challenge, bro. What's the most disgusting thing we can find? Ooh, Amon Ra, double carry, Ada Garuda with no shadow protection. Ooh, defeat. Okay, okay. Now the game's playing. What are you throwing at me? What's happening? Right, second time's a charm. No. Okay. So, of course, we start off. Good hits there from the whole team. Energy Steel knocked out onto the opposing carry, which is fine. Enemy Garuda, though, could slip the net, which I'm a little worried about. So, we nod our carry to go ahead and steal energy from them, because if Garuda gets an active, that could be a problem. Huge stun coming out there from the planet, so the lack of protection could be a problem, as most of our lineup is getting diddled. Um, it means Eloise also has a risk of getting... Holy... Moly, that was a Garuda active that nearly one shot Eloise. Okay, okay, we're definitely on the back foot here now without shadow protection. Okay, that, that's not fun. If Garuda can do that, I'm scared. Let's try some of these other ones. Like this one here does have shadow protection. This should be an easy win. So we're going to try that one again, and we're going to see what this Garuda's active is going to do to us. So hopefully this Garuda does an active skill. Hopefully it hits Eloise and we can get an informative example of the difference between Shadow Protection and no Shadow Protection. So you can see the damage is way higher for a start, which is good. And then Garuda's going to come out with an active skill here. Oh wow, that was only half of Eloise's health bar as opposed to the whole thing and triggering Unbending Will. Such a massive difference in damage there. Garuda is going to get an active skill here though, though she does take a ton of damage here. And it might one-shot us, which I'm a little worried about. Uh, no, we actually managed to take her down pretty nicely. A lot of attack steal there from our ticks, which was good. Now, with two carries remaining, we'll just stall them out. And we win. So, yeah, Shadow Protection making a huge difference here. So, this fight should be no different. This should be absolutely further. There you go. Victory. Okay. This next one, Ozil 201. Okay, double Garuda. This is going to be a huge problem, I think. I don't think we're going to win this one. Yeah, defeat. Okay, I'm not surprised. And that one over there, there is a potential chance we win this as there is no Garuda. So let's have a spin. Let's see how this one plays out. Is this going to be fine? No, still a defeat. Okay, we might need to start investing in Shadow Protection then. Yeah, these these are not, these are not going to be fine. I'm just going to have to go with Shadow Protection for this planet. 
Ah, uh, we're low rolling. We're low rolling. That required three. With Shadow Protection, we got a lot more damage output. We're not struggling. That's the thing. We can definitely beat this. It just requires us getting lucky with Signets and Protection. Which we can do. And yeah, we're good. Yeah, we're totally good. See the difference here? That's night and day, man. And what exactly does Signets provide? So they give you protection for particular factions. And that faction is then more resistant to the control effects of the planet. And you end up not having to take the debuffs that massively reduce the damage of your heroes. So if you go and read the information here, this will tell you that the planets will have a debuff. Or is it this one here? Yeah, it's here. So weakens damage, reduce the all damage dealt of your heroes by 90%. If you have protection, the effect will be reduced. So all these things, if you're protected, massively reduce the negative effects. Like, look, that's insane. Like, reduces the effect of being healed by 90%. That's redonkadonks, right? So it gets reduced to 18% instead. So that's like getting reduced down to 20% of its potency, which is really nice, right? Versus like 90% chance to get stunned versus 18% chance. Like what would you rather have, right? So protection makes such a huge difference for both your damage and your healing potential. So we're looking for shadow protection like we just got there on everything because this is pretty nasty, this particular area. So we got that one dealt with. Again, shadow protection absolutely carrying us hard there. And on this one, oh, let's freaking go! Getting it first time. That's really nice. There you go. Victory first time. So that's the fire area four beaten. So yeah, shadow protection really working us here. This one, again, this is reducing healing. This is reducing damage. And um, we get twined on this one. So it's basically the same kind of effects. That's got shadow protection. Good. If we can high roll shadow protection on a few of these planets, this is going to be a breeze, right? Don't even have to worry about the heroes in here. Yeah, totally clean win. So Shadow Protection carrying us on that one. This one here. Oh, it's only one. Oh, no. No, no, no. Oh, bro. Yeah, I think we're going to get stonewalled here, man. I think we're going to run out of Signets. I don't know if we can get it to fire clear here. Transcendence. Light. Then Shadow. Oh, bro. That was rough. That was really rough. Still a win here, though. So that's fine. We got that one. Zane 105. Let's go again. Transcendence. Shadow. Okay, second time we'll take it. There's even a Drake in here. So if we can beat this even with a Drake on the enemy team. Mate, we are cooking with gas. Shadow protection is such a game changer. Get it first time. Nope. Second. Nope. Come on, please. Ah, there we go. Eight signets left. I hate that. I hate that. Come on. Let's get it. Okay, victory, good. And the last one of Defire Area 3, Shadow first time. No. 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 Oh, come on. Four. Yikes. Only four signets left. This is terrifying, bro. This is really terrifying. Because now we have to deal with Defire Area 2 and Defire Area 1 with only four signets left. <sighs> this is going to be tough. This is going to be really tough. That said, though, I think, according to a few things I've heard and read, Defire Area 2 and Area 1 actually don't have as bad debuffs as the other two. So it might be okay here. We'll see. We will see. The issue might be the healing, though. The lack of healing. So we'll, we'll, we'll see what debuffs they're giving us. Either way, look how quickly we're mincing through them. Shadow Protection makes such a difference. But yeah, they're dead. Very, very nice. So, moving on, we've got to fire area two. This debuff is when a round starts, each hero has their energy reduced. When the round ends, each of your heroes have a chance to be horrified. So, look at that. That is way better for us, right? So, we're getting energy stolen. Who cares? When a round ends, there's a chance to be horrified. Okay, who cares? We can still counterattack. And when a round ends, each of your heroes has a chance to be silenced. Again, who cares? This is fine. Eloise is like, you blah, blah, I still kill, right? I'm not going to need any protection against this. Watch me get it first time. Boop. Right? Because none of those things actually debuff Eloise. Ha. So yeah, this is going to be completely okay. Defy area 2 proving very winnable. Oh, mate. Yeah, yeah. Come on. 
Give me the victories. What have we got here? Double Mim. Let's watch this one out. Let's see what Mim's going to try and do to us. It's a pretty nasty team, to be fair. There's a carry and a Garuda in here as well. And the Cruz with the stun. So there's a lot of potential shenanigans going down. But the health bar, bro. Look at the health bar. And we're not getting that healing debuff. That was the thing. Defire Area 4 and Defire Area 3 cutting our healing down by such a significant amount and then reducing our damage dealt to, what, 10% of our potential output? Like, ugh. What hideous nonsense. So, yeah, hopefully we can deal with these guys pretty nicely. Uh, I'm just worried a little bit about our potential to kill these guys as we will take a massive amount of damage from Garuda Reactive Skills. So we do need to get some damage out on that Garuda. Oh, never mind. She fell over. Ticks exploded. What a hero. So good. Thanks to the treasure train buffs, that guy actually has a pretty freaking jacked attack stat. So, yeah, we, we dealt with them pretty good. And that is going to be a dead carry. Yep, absolutely fantastic. It's almost like we have protection because none of these debuffs actually hurt us. It's like you get CC'd, you get CC'd, and we steal your energy. Eloise is like, bro, none of those CC effects actually prevent me from counterattacking. And... Stealing energy doesn't stop me from counterattacking. You literally did nothing to me. What are you going to cry about? I didn't active skill you? Oh, well. You're still dead. So, good job, Eloise. Fantastic. So, Defy Area 1. What's this doing? When a round starts, each of your heroes get less energy. You get sealed. Okay, that's annoying. Getting sealed is annoying. And Dazzle is annoying, too. But then again, if Ignis dies, we become a fully control immune. So, yeah, this should again be completely fine. Look, we even high-rolled Shadow Protection on this. So, yeah. Look at that. Bang! Victory. Okay, so that's that first one beaten. This one is... Whoa, double Russell? Well, there's a lot of dazzle we got to deal with on this one. So, yeah, you're right. We still got full healing. We still got counterattacks. So, again, is this going to be a win? <gasps> Defeated! Rude. Right. Oh, shadow protection on this one. Okay, let's do the ones we know we can beat. And then we'll worry about the last few planets. So, yeah, victory on that one. Absolutely fine. Gulf 114. You know what? That that might be winnable. I'm not I'm not sure. What about Gulf 207? Mate, when the only thing you roll is shadow protection, but the wave says F you. Look at that. Could you have built a more disgusting wave? It's like, hey, here's three carries, two Garudas, and Eloise's worst nightmare, Drake. Can shadow protection actually carry us here? Should we find out? I'm a bit nervous. I, I think we are going to get wrecked by this. You're saying beatable? I mean, it's it, it maybe. But how many attempts, huh? Either way, it looks like one of those Garudas is going to straight up die, which is a fantastic situation. It looks like Drake's going to die as well before we're actually put down to having no team left. So, yeah, this is this is kind of good. Like, Eloise's character attack, shredding them. Oh, my word. That's going to be a whole backline death. Yeah. Drake's gone already. The Garuda's healed, which is a bit annoying, but I think we're still okay. One of the carries is down, two of the carries are down, all three of the carries are down. Oh, this is annoying. We could end up with a situation where carries keep healing Garudas. Unless we just kill both Garudas now? Yo, we will. Boop. Oh, one of the carries came back. Dude, stay dead. Man. Terrible. Imagine that happened, right? You just you just chilling. You know, your little sister's passed away. She just rises out the coffin at the funeral and goes, Psych! I ain't dead. Was only napping. Doctors are like, what the heck? We pronounced it dead three weeks ago. That's Carrie. That's what Carrie does. Peekaboo, I'm alive. Right, we got ourselves 11 billion damage there. That was good. Uh, so that, that, yeah, solid win. Uh, now we just got... That's the one we lost to. We'll, we'll deal with that later. This is... Is that fine? Double carry smells. We'll reset until we get one carry. That's, that's again, double carry. Let's just make it easy for ourselves. No, on, we'll reset a couple times. Come on. Give me a nice wave. That's okay. One carry. We should win this. Oh, mate, we're getting rinsed. Eloise, where did your health bar go? Oh, she's dead. She's dead. Oh, that was bad. Okay. Yeah, we might need the last few signets. You're right. Okay, let's get Shadow first time. Yes! Pro gaming! This is good. And is Holmes Young good on an Eloise team? Uh, no, because if you dove opponents, they don't attack you. And if they don't attack you, no counterattacks. So you just want Eloise just to get smacked a load. Carrie's fine because she steals energy, so it doesn't stop enemies from attacking. And Tix is fine because Silence and Horrify just force enemies into, I guess, passively doing not a lot. Uh, well, Silence, for example, will make enemies 
deal only basic attacks, and he'll steal their attack too. Like, Horrify, yeah, that might stop him for a little bit, but it's not the end of the world. And, yeah, this should be fine. I think we completely got him. Oh my word, look at the health bar just get chunked away there on the Garuda. And, yeah, that's Ada dead too. Fantastic, so that's cleared up. And we're left with Ozil 201. If we get Shadow Protection on here, I think we get this beat. There you go, we've got one Protection Signet left as well, which means we can beat something in Vanquisher 6. But yeah, there you go, guys. That is a uh, Defire clear in less than a month on an account. That actually feels pretty good. I'm happy with that. I don't know if Vanquish is going to be winnable. There will be some nasty debuffs. Obviously, planets that reduce our healing or our damage output are going to suck. There is a marked step up from Defire to Vanquisher. So we'll probably need a Transcendence Hero. Just like someone like an Alamac does to help us get through... Um, Oh my word, is Russell gonna for real just rinse us? Okay, there we go, he's dead. Mate, I was worried. When Unbending Will came up there, I thought we were legit gonna lose Eloise. But no, we're fine. And that should be a W right there. We win! That is the fire one cleared. Fantastic. What an achievement for this account. That is really, really clean. So, in that case, we're going to go do some Aspen Dungeon, which means we need to tune up this Eloise, get her nice and hot for this. And I'm going to do something a little different. We got ourselves a Golden Crown here. We got ourselves some more Artifact Chests as well. So, yeah, I think I'll just grab three crowns from this. You can never have too many crowns. So, there you go. Bang. Three Golden Crowns. Artifact Regress. Destroy this. That's going to get us all that stuff back. And then we'll go to the Artifact Forge. And we'll just forge up a golden crown, which is going to make Eloise super duper tanky, which is amazing. we got HP heal effect as well, and then we're attack with even more heal effect here from the vitality. So she's going to be completely out healing most of our opponents. Unlike last time, she's void four. She's in a house. We've got a bunch of tenants giving us upgrades, and she's got a whopping 2.25 million attack. So this should be very good. Aspen Dungeon ain't got no clue what it's in for. Before we get started, though, as well, I do need to go to the Almost Workshop and use that 7,000 that we have to build ourselves a Glittery Melodic Strings. This is going to be used exclusively on Tix, because Tix is going to need this to get him to do some good active skills. So we'll put that in there. He's attack, attack, that's fine. And I ought to see if we can level him up to 290. Yes. Yes, we can. And we still have leftover Spirit and Gold, which means we can probably squeeze out those last few levels on Eloise when we get Death Beaten in Aspen Dungeon. So here we go, folks. Let's go put in those heroes. We'll throw down the others, but it's really not going to matter all that much. And unlike last time, Tix is E3, which means he's actually going to do something this time. Uh, not that he wasn't doing anything at 10 star. He's just got a little bit more bite, which is nice. So we'll start off with these guys. And what kind of healing are we looking at here? We got six angel potions and 39 milks. Okay, this is fine. So yeah, we can skip through some of these early fights. We know that Eloise is going to absolutely dominate those Horuses. We're going to skip that for now. I don't want to buy scrolls for that much. I might need to though, considering we do have some big scroll events coming up. Four Aiders. Eloise should eat these guys for breakfast. Oh my word. The crown damage reduction makes Aiders look like paper, paper, mache, nonsense heroes. They basically breathing on me and doing nothing. They're like, eh, have some COVID, eh. And it's like, bro, I've got a vaccine. What you want about? Beautiful. Absolutely shredded. Right, we should beat this one as well. Yeah, no problem there. Real clean. Got ourselves four Gurks. That's fine. Another win. And what was the furthest we made it on this when we played last time? Oh, we got to 82. Oh yeah, we're, we're getting up there on the leaderboard. What's this? Faith Blade Amavor. Easy win. Easy, easy wins. So we're going to be breezing through most of this. And I'll let you know when stuff gets hard. Okay, we got ourselves a double penny wave. I am genuinely curious how Eloise handles pennies. Like, this could just be really dumb. But I'm so confident in the Golden Crown and our new buff treasure train that I'm like, yes. Yes, that's good. Great damage. That was just one active skill. So that's 69 beaten. Never have a 69 with two pennies, by the way, or you'll end up in prison. But you've got ourselves an even worse penny wave here. There's an Aider in this one. I still think we're fine. I'm going to put a bit of milk in here. Let's see what happens. Do, do, do. Block. Nice. Oh my word, a single block is doing so much damage. This is ridiculous. I feel like we're cheating. This is so silly. Four Aiders again, but this is death 71. Oh my word, bro! Go home, Eloise. You're just embarrassing everybody. Look at that. That's mad. Right, solo Amon Ra. Give Tix a go. Come on. Show him who's boss. Bang. Ooh! That was an active skill? 
Tix, you're cheating. Let's try again. Oh, Vessa. Here we go, Tix. Two hits. Oh, nah. Wait, 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 wait. You think Tix can solo this? Okay, nah. We definitely want Eloise on this one. I don't want to risk it. But, like, you know how last time I put Tix in and was like, oh, he'll, he might solo some of this and he was only 10 star and didn't have a million extra attack from the train? I'm expecting, like... Oh, no, we need Tix. Okay, Demon Potion, here we go. Oberon's. One shot. Zhao. Dead. 37 million? Wow. That was a lot of damage. Okay, here's a solo Ammon Ra. Two tap. One. Two. Oh, it didn't kill! Bro, try again. Oh, it didn't kill again? Come on, man. One. Two. Okay, I guess we just go for those end around buffs, huh? Yeah, we do. Yeah, we do. So we keep healing up the Ammon Ra until we just two tap her. One. Oh, we got CC'd. That wasn't the plan. Oh, and then an active skill happened. Well, that didn't work. The CC messed us up. We were supposed to do a two tap where we gained full energy. Just didn't happen. So, um, all that for nothing. Okay, this might be better. We got Amon Ra with Aiden. So, again, we're going to go with that same logic. What we'll do, we'll go in with zero energy. He should have full energy by the end of this. One. Two. Active. They heal. One. Two. Okay, okay, Tix, you're all over the place here, bro. One. Just kill, kill, kill the, kill the, Tex, you're so silly. Right, okay, okay, never mind. Eloise it is. Aspen. Just die. Uh, GG, don't roll Oberon. Bro, Sarge is going to deal with the Oberons. Don't believe me, watch. Right, if an Oberon shows up, I'll Demon Potion a Sarge and she'll kill him. Be dead easy. In fact, I think Eloise one-shots Oberon's just fine. Death 79, double Horus, double Valentino. Why did I say Aiden instead of Aspen? Because I'm an idiot. Sometimes the most obvious answer is the correct one. What do we got here? Kids selling me wishing coins? That sounds like a deal. Oh, no. Vessa? Okay, we got ruined by a Vessa last time. So you know what? I'm going to Demon Post and Sarja, and we're going to one-shot Vessa. You ready? Vroom! Ta-da! Look at that. Fun. Right, let's go, Eloise. That's so wrong. What, a 10-star Sarja one-shotting in Aspen Dungeon? You guys underestimate the power of the treasure train. <laughs> uh. Train's busted. Yeah, just a little bit. Just a, just a tiny smidgen. It makes these early game modes like Aspen Dungeon a joke. Okay, here we go. Double Asmodel, double Dark Arthendol. Oh, mate. Even the counterattack absolutely mocks these. Build Sarja, she's meta. Mate, Sarja is a good hero. Like, I could have purely built Sarja as our first E5, and we'd be all over this. Like, Aspen Dungeon would get bonked. She's like Faithblade, but better. Like, she's insane. She's such a good hero. Death's already a joke if you know what you're doing. That is that is true. That is true. Koala says it here first, guys. Death is super easy if you know how to achieve it. That's right. We're not advocating for self-harm here, guys. We're talking about Aspen Dungeon. Okay, let's go. Let's kill these Seers. Fantastic. They are defeated. And we got ourselves Death 87. Oh, what is this? Double Penny? Double Amon Ra? Do you want me to throw Sarger in? No, I kind of do need Sarger, actually, for, for overruns. All right, here we go. Oh, wait, hang on a second. We we need to rely on Amon Ra to hit us so that we can counterattack because Penny has such high precision. Oh, guys, time for Sarja to have a demon potion again. It's another Vessa. It's so stupid. 30 million damage. Mate, that should not be allowed. What about Sarja just, just, just on her own here? Bro. It's... Are we just... Okay. Okay, indulge me for a moment. There's 10 more waves left. And this golden crown A tier Eloise we have. I don't know what you're on about. I, I, I only have Sarja 10 star on this account, guys. I'm really struggling to make any progress because I'm just a noob that built Sarja. Oh, we got silenced and stunned. And then we active. Wow. Wow. Mate, 
Do you want to know what artifact she's got on? Do you guys want to know what I've given this Sarja for armor and artifacts? I think she's just wearing an Echo of Death. Yes, and it's not even upgraded. It's 10.5% with 7.5% crit. She's wearing 5 star armor. But because of the train, she has 1.3 million attack. And 138 million HP. With a B tier awaken. Block heal effect. Balanced. Yes, correct. Absolutely fun and interactive. Should we see what hard watch it? Okay. Whoa, okay. No, no. Oberons. That's one for Sergeant. But again, hopefully she deals with them real quick. Here we go. Oh, double Oberon's dead. Oh, and then the stun on the Valk. That probably should have killed us. But it didn't because we're super strong. Oh, solo Oberon. Should we deal with him pretty easily? Oh, we stun him straight out. Oh, Sarja. Whoa, the basic attack stuns, guys. Oh, we got a demon potion back. That's nice. What do we got here? Ada, Penny, Aspen. You know what? We we no, I'm not gonna waste a demon potion on this. I will I will just send an Eloise for these kind of waves. Bang. Oh, look at that. We should probably save some demon potions of purgatory as well. Just to get some progress there. Okay, Amon Ra, Penny. Again, Eloise. This is all hers. So when the Amon Ra's hit us, we counterattack, which will kill the pennies. Yep. And then we kill the others. Just fine. Very nice. Okay. Death. 96. That's a 69, but you don't like each other, so you turn and face the other way and just go to bed. We've all been there, guys. We've all had a 96. Often it's down to um, disputes about what to have for dinner, which then bring up a load of unresolved arguments. We've, we've, we've all been there. Unless you're single, in which case, you know, you've not been there. Probably for the best. Right, four Valkyries. I think Sarja breaks this. Demon Potion Sarja, instant one shot, two of the Valks, deal with the rest. Ugh. Even the stun? They can't stop us? That's ridiculous. Okay. I'm pushing Sarja to our limits. Let's go. Asmodel, Dark Arthendal. Even with the CC, we're fine because we break free. We ain't even got Control Purify here. It's just Dark Arthendal CC don't last that long. Yep, there you go. That is absolutely dead. That was hilarious. And Death 99, Solo Bade. Imagine he kills us. Nah, he ain't killing us. Amazing. And Death 100. Faithblade Amavor. Assassin on Assassin action. Mate, I would pay good money for this. Let's have a look. Oh, hang on. Isn't Faithblade stun immune? Yeah, he is. Okay, that's a bit annoying. That said, though, Amavor's dead. Faithblade's dead. Sarja did all the work. I don't know what you guys are on about. That was all Sarja. We will buy from the merchant before we advance. So let's get these... All these things... So we're getting ourselves all the stuff with gold. We've got ourselves Heroic Summon Scrolls. Get that on. Uh, I probably want to get some arena tickets here because I'm quite low. I normally wouldn't buy this, but I have so many gems. It's not a problem. And I ought to probably buy Heroic Summon Scrolls. I, uh, yeah, we it's scroll season. So normally I would not advocate for this, but because this is a spending account, this is probably what I'm forced to do to be able to make progress in this month's and the future month's content without having to spend too much money on scroll packs. So that's fine. And then, you yeah, know, that's a bit much. I'm not buying them. We will get this, though. Anything for gold here that's offering arena tickets, promotion stones, or wishing coins, I'm going to pick up as well. Okay, it's time to go into Purgatory. Let's go see what happens in here. We're going to send in the same lineup. We got Eloise, we got Tix, we got Sarja, Carrie, and... Oh, for good measure, let's just bring Waldeck. He's actually kind of good. All right, what have we got here? Let's look at these potions. What are they giving us? We get ourselves a bit of damage reduction, a bit of control immunity, and a bit of attack. And Morax is our first fight. Well, that's interesting. I think we're going to get minced unless we can stop him. So I think we have to send in Tix. He does an active skill, one shots the Morax. Oh, Morax is faster. Okay, at least we silence him. Oh, and then we die. Okay, that's absolute bogus. I want my money back. That was stupid. Right, Sarja with the Demon Potion should be able to one shot this Morax now. Oh my goodness me. How much health has he got? That was crazy. We beat Purgatory 1 at least. Uh, oh no. I think I do have to use Eloise on some of these fights now. This is unfun. I can't just cheese it with Sarja. Oh wow. Yo. Mate. Oh, I think. Hang on a second. What? 
Oh, that's big. How far do you think we can get with this? Because Sol has made it to Purgatory 21. This could be very interesting. I mean, is even Russell Carry a problem? I don't know. We're going to milk up. This could be an issue. Oh, the Dazzle. Yes, that is an issue. But their damage output is low, dude. Oh, then again, that is that is a lot. That, yeah, okay. Never mind. Freaking Russell. That was good, though. We made good progress. I'm fifth on the leaderboard. Purgatory 2 seems good. I'm happy about that. So all we need to do now is push a little bit further and not get this stupid wave. Everyone who's ever tried to do Purgatory ever knows double Russell, double carry is stinky and not very fun. That said, though, we did great, guys. We made a ton of progress here today. And of course, with that clear, we are going to get ourselves a bunch of stuff. We also get a little reward here for building a splendid artifact, which was nice. I didn't even buff that up in the Celestial Island. That was a bit of a false move. Should have gone ahead and done that. But it's minuscule amounts of stats, really, when it comes to the treasure train, giving us so much fixed numbers. But yeah, either way, we absolutely shredded it. Defire got beaten. Aspen Dungeon got beaten. Even Purgatory looks like it's going to be a bit of a breeze, provided we don't get to fight any Russells. But either way, guys, I am pleased with this. The account is zooming along, living up to its name, The Turbo Series. So yeah, really, really happy with how this week has treated us. A ton more progress on the account. Cannot wait to get ourselves that ticks to E5. We'll build carry up to E5. We'll get our tenants improved. And then eventually we've got to look to the future to build that Mockman. So stay tuned, guys. There's plenty more to come. Hit that subscribe button. I will see you in future content for this account and maybe on other accounts too, if you're interested. Either way, guys, I'll see you next time. Have a fantastic week. And of course, happy idling.